today? I'm very, very lucky. I just have been commissioned to create a series of videos, a series of videos on the art of buying and selling. That's right, the art of buying and selling. 150 pounds, Steve, Steve sent me and he wants me to look at negotiation, sales psychology, how to deal with the difference between the status of the buyer and the, st and the seller, and how to avoid being completely fucked over. And I'm very, very proud to present this series. And Steve, thank you. Thank you so much. I love being commissioned to make some vids. And what, what a wonderful gift. 150 fucking pounds. Mm. That fucking came in handy. Let me tell you there. I've invested that money. I've bought some, some older Patek brochures from the 90s. I bought my wife a few things. Keep her sweet. And I just feel fucking fantastic. I opened the Ardmore. I opened the Ardmore because that money gave me the confidence to enjoy this drink. Thank you, Steve. Okay, let's have a look at it. Now, I did send Steve an email. I said, did you want me to focus on new watches or second hand? And he said to me, he said, it's mainly used, but cover both. So that's what I'm going to do. Rule number one, the art of buying and selling. Okay, this is rule. This is rule number one. Rule number one. Just hang on one tick, fuckers. One tick. And rule number one is simple. This is the most important thing. You need to do your research, okay? You need to do your research. It doesn't matter if you're buying a Mercedes-Benz, a Patek Calatrava, or a Breitling Navi Timer. You need to do your fucking research. And what do I mean by that as well? If you're buying a watch, you need to know what models are in and what models are dogs. Now, you could be offered my Calatrava for £5,000. But if you don't know what the prices are, how could you work out whether that's a good deal or not? You need the research and you need to have completed that before you're ready to buy. Okay, you need to really do your research. You need to know what models are hot, what models are dogs, and what are current prices. That's the most important thing. You gotta do your fucking research. If you step into the shop and you expect the shop to educate you, you're gonna pay a big fucking price for that education. They don't give a fuck about telling you the truth. They tell you what they want to fucking move out the door now. That's right. They tell you what they want to move out the door now. It's not what is necessarily the good model. So you have to, you have to have the research. You need to know what does a second-hand colour trava sell for on the secondary market. You need to fucking know this stuff before you commence negotiations. If you don't know the fucking price that these watches are worth... You are fucked. You are fucked over big time. Because these dealers, they're not here to give you bargains. They're there to scratch out a fucking living. So my advice to you is you need to have an idea of what a good deal is, what current prices are, and, you know, you've got to fucking know what models are hot. Every range, Patek, for example, Patek, there's certain models that aren't so popular. It's the case for everything. It may seem a bargain, but it's because that model's a dog. 
you've really got to get your research done. The second rule, the second rule, don't waste their time. You're ready to buy, you need to, you know your margins and your pricings. You need to say, hello, can I please talk to the manager? There's no point dealing with the fucking flunkies. You need to deal with the big man. And you say, hey, I got cash. I want to buy today. What's your best price? And then hum on that. So if you have your knowledge, you don't need, you're not paying for the education because they charge big money. They're charging 200 pound an hour to teach you about watches. So when you get into negotiation stage, you don't need to waste any time. You know the margins, the rules. This fucking fly, did you see that bastard? <laughs> Am I drunk or is that a fly? <laughs> you need to know. You need to fucking have all this worked out. You need to ask for the manager. You need to say, I got cash and I want your best possible price. Hum on it and cut it back more. This is part one. The art of buying and selling watches. Part one. And uh, part two is coming very soon. See you later, fuckers.